Hey, it's George here, and today I'm going to be showing you around a project that I started quite a while ago now, but um, it was put on hold because of other things. Um, it's called um, Kingdom of Myths, and I'm not sure if any of you guys ever heard of the game Master of Olympus Zeus. Basically, that was a strategy game uh, based in ancient Greek times, and you know, based a lot around mythology and history and like warfare of ancient Greece. And it's a pretty cool game. Um, I, I guess you compare it to like Age of Empires and Civilization, civilization things like that. But uh, what you did is you built huge cities, raised armies, traded, um, took over other cities, and also sort of fought with other civilizations to be in the favor of the ancient Greek gods. Um, so basically, yeah, I've got a big interest in ancient Greece and Greek mythology. So what I decided to do on Minecraft was try and build a bit of an ancient Greek city. And this is what I came up with. Like I said, I started it quite a while ago, maybe four months ago, but I only ended up doing it for a couple of weeks. Um, I started a lot on my marine traffic world project and now with Operation Infinite Ocean, which I'm sure you will hear more about later on in my videos. But okay, so I'll just show you around. Um, in fact, I'll go to where it all started. This is just an overview of the whole thing. And it started down here with this building. So, it's quite big. Um, like I said, I did put a lot of time into it when I first started it. But okay, so we start this building. As you can see, the doors are messed up because I started this before the 1.5 update and things like that, where all the doors got messed up. Okay, so basically, it all started here. This building is like a Roman slash ancient Greek barracks. So in the center here, we've got like a, a training area and all around loads and loads of beds. So this is the first building in the project. Not too much detail, um, but I use like the columns of clean stone to make it try and look as ancient Greek as I could. So then I thought, okay, we've got a barracks, we're gonna need some houses. So I started building a few houses dotted around. Uh, we've got this big watchtower here. Uh, and I'll tell you something else about the watchtowers later if I remember. Um, and then built a few shrines. And this is my really first proper ancient Greek building here. It's uh, like an amphitheater, um, like a very mini version of some of the huge ones back in ancient Greece. So yeah, just a little amphitheater. Um, they aren't real buildings at the back. That would just be like scenery that they had built. Um, and that would be like the backdrop to the to the dramatic um, plays that the ancient Greeks had back then. Like theatre, poetry, it was a big thing in their culture, so built one of those. And now, if you know much about ancient Greece, you'll know that you know they were heavily influenced by the gods. And they had temples to, um, to worship them. So up here, we have the first two temples. Very often they were built on hills because the ancient Greeks believed that this would be the best way to communicate with the gods, as they believed that they lived at a place called Mount Olympus, which is a real place in Greece. And that was a, the tallest mountain in Greece, I believe. Correct me on that if I'm wrong, but I think it's the tallest mountain in Greece. So they built their temples on the top of hills and mountains because they believed that they would be closer to the gods. Okay, so there's the first two temples there. So if we work our way around, oh in fact there's one other thing down here. Here's another watchtower. Um, I'll tell you the thing about the watchtowers now. Basically, how it would have worked in ancient Greek times, each watchtower's a bit like Lord of the Rings. Um, you could see at least one other watchtower from like any other watchtower. So here we've got this one here by the river, uh, and you can see that watchtower over there. I'm not sure if you can see the other one. No, you can't. But yeah, you can see that one there. So basically, if any of them saw attacking enemies or anything like that, they could light a beacon, just like Lord of the Rings, and communicate with the other watchtowers. Brilliant. It started raining. Let's turn that off. Okay, um, down here, we've got another temple. And I thought this could be a temple. It's not actually finished. Damn it. <laughs> okay, this is going to be like a temple... Um, I'm not sure which god it is, but I'm sure they had at least one god which they used to worship travellers um, to give you good luck on journeys. Okay, sorry about that guys, got a phone call, my bad. 
Okay, so what I was saying was, yeah, they had at least one god which they worshipped um, to sort of bring good favour upon travellers and things like that. So I thought if I put that by the river, that's the way a lot of travellers would have left, like on triremes. Um, so yeah, I put that there. Um, and yeah, if we work our way around here, I think that's that area pretty much covered. So we've got watchtowers, a few houses. Um, and yeah, it's, it's based, it's like, it's really based around this, this river that winds through really and um, we've got the paths which uh sort of travel along the edges of the river and bridges going over all lit by torches it's all quite compact i really try to use the scenery rather than um forming it myself okay so then we come to these two buildings here this building here um it looks kind of similar to the barracks but less military and stuff this is like a, a villa or say where a house where maybe a general would live someone rich in ancient greek society it's quite large We've got columns on the inside um which they use a lot for decoration um and it's got the little pond in the middle little balcony there so it's all quite fancy this building here which is something that i was influenced off the the game master olympus use this is like a gymnasium now a lot of you will know that obviously the Olympics is banned from ancient Greece uh, so athletics and everything like that was a real big part of society as well so this is where people training for the games would sort of come to to practice and keep fit so we've got like the little changing rooms in here it's literally a really small scale they're probably these are massive probably in real times um, and just the area where they'd basically do their workouts I think oh yeah we have one more temple over here um, and that's pretty much the last small building and then this next one you come to is loads of different buildings but it's all one big thing and this is probably the last thing I did before I stopped this project now this I know I said I built a barracks before but this is like a whole military complex you'll see it's all walled it's got watchtowers um, uh, yeah watchtowers that big one there and then these ones along the wall uh, but it's, it's pretty pretty big and this did take the main amount of time I think that probably all took on and off a couple of days and this a lot longer okay so if we go through the entrance here big wide footpath um, decorate with columns again everything was really similar I wanted it to all look the same so the whole city sort of matched uh, just this like I don't know what you could call it like a reception building maybe like a, a gatehouse and then if we come around in fact we'll go in like the order of a of a day so we're going in the order of like a sorry I lost my train of thought we're going in the order of a day of an ancient Greek soldier so again this is another barracks building I spent a bit more time on this one than the first one I made it's a little bit more of an interesting shape and everything um, so if we go through here got where all the beds are there's a lot more beds in this one than the other one I think there's a second yeah there's a second floor of beds as well so imagine right okay you wake up as a Roman soldier and the first thing you're probably gonna do after you've got change and everything is go and have breakfast so over here we have the mess hall I'll go through the window and no, I'll go through here <laughs> got the mess hall so Nice big tall room, well lit, loads of tables and chairs, have your breakfast. Um, and in here, I haven't f completely finished this yet, but like, I guess this would be where the kitchens would be. Not going to be anything like kitchens now, obviously. Open fires, chimneys, things like that, and like a storeroom in here for, for the food. So maybe after you've had your breakfast, they were pretty, pretty good on hygiene back then, so you'd go for a wash. Um... The Romans and the Greeks were pretty similar in their hygiene. They had public baths. So if we go to this building here, as you can see, nice and symmetrical. This building here, we have like the changing rooms again in here. Get your kit off and then jump in the baths. Uh, these are pretty much the same on both sides, baths either side. Columns, lots and lots of columns. You'll see there's a lot of columns on this project. Get changed again. Go back to your barracks, maybe do a bit of warm-up training, 
and then let's say let's say you're a Greek archer, okay? So we're a Greek archer. We need to practice some archery. So this building over here that I built, more columns as you can see. This is a archery range. So you stand here with your bow and arrow. Let me just grab one. Oh, there we go. Stand here with your bow and arrow. Practice some archery. Yes, there you go. Um, so that's just an archery building. Other buildings that we have. Uh, obviously, we've got the watchtower. Let me just go through and make sure I don't forget everything. So we've done all this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this building over here. So you do an archery, and your mate next to you shoots you in the face accidentally. That's going to hurt. So you need to go and get fixed up. Okay? So in here, this is like an infirmary, hospital, those little beds. And probably all that's going to happen here in ancient Greek times is they're going to put some weird perfume on you and then pray to the gods that they're going to fix you. But usually, you know, that worked back then, so that's all good. Okay, so this is just like a recreational area over here. Because I guess if you've been to war, that's pretty stressful. So yeah, we come over here, we chill, play in the sandpit, because that's what adults do. <laughs> Got a nice view here over a lake. So that's the infirmary. Now this huge building at the back, which I think is the last one. I think so. This massive building back here, you can see, looks like my other temples. This is my biggest temple yet. Now, for those of you that know your ancient Greek mythology, you'll know that the Greek god of war was Ares. People get it confused a little bit with the Roman god of war, which was Mars. Now, the Roman and Greek gods are really similar, but basically, the most of the Roman gods were named, well, not named after planets, but had the name of the planets, because the planets came after. But okay, the Greek gods all had names, so the Greek god of war was Ares. So what I've done here, because this is a barracks, obviously, and if you're a soldier that's getting out of war, you're going to want to pray to Ares that you're going to win. So this huge temple here, um, built much like the Parthenon um, in Athens. It's got a set of outer columns and then an inner shrine. And what I've tried to do here, as well as I could with the wonderful one meter by one meter blocks that Minecraft gives you, was build like a sculpture of a god or something like that out of gold. Got the flames here. Um, so that's my that's my temple to areas and that pretty much concludes the tour sort of a really quick tour of this project that i was doing it definitely took a lot more time than the tour that i just did but so yeah we got the barracks few houses load of temples and yeah that was my ancient greek city um if you want i could upload the world file to planet minecraft and you could check it out for yourselves. It, it might be something I come back to in the future. I really don't know. But it was really fun making it actually. I really got into it. Um, and I was really pleased how it turned out. So yeah, that's been my tour of Kingdom of Myth guys. I'll see you guys later.